Once again, I want to apologize for all the silly things our former did and said here earlier today. Whatever his reason is for assaulting and insulting you because of the domestic misunderstanding he had with Nancy is irresponsible. I'm so sorry. I mean, what Nancy did is something she should be commended for. It takes extraordinary character of a strength to go extra mile to help someone who you don't know. Nancy, I am so proud of you. Again, I apologize for all my actions. I allowed my anger to overwhelm me to that extent. Come to think of it, my money is Nancy's money. Nana, baby, I'm very sorry for everything. Hmm? Yes. Alright, it's okay. I'm glad that everything has been sorted out. Your apologies are all accepted, okay? Um, we should be praying for the patient in there. For him to survive, okay? He will survive. Meanwhile, doctor, if there's any other kind of help the man needs to survive, do not hesitate to tell us. We will not stop our work of charity on him until he's back on his feet, sound and healthy. Please, once he accepts food, I will make sure that Nancy has all it takes to foot the bill. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Nice man. Alright, minute and with whatever you have to do with this house. Afunwa, do it quickly. Afunwa, do what quickly? Don't worry, relax. You will know. I want to speed. Oh, no. Auntie Mibel, what is, what is going on? my bag yes this is my bag what, what what is going on i'm sending you back to your miserable father whatever we have in common is over go <whistles> auntie mabel Afua, both of you assured me before we left for the hospital that that um whatever we told you here or at the hospital is meaningless now just carry your bag just go back. Forget the money you people owe us. We don't want it again. Forget that we even cross paths. Just go. Oh, I have your child in my womb. Your baby, your flesh and blood. I have it in my womb. Don't do this to me. Look, if you are still here, by the time I go in and come out, eh, I'll go into business and answer that question to your cops. May we go one or not? 
Wait for me. Wait for me. Please. Auntie Mabel, you are a woman like me. Please, please. Hey, 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 hey. Nancy, if you stay here and Afuma comes out and do something to you, I come out your way. You know how merciless and violent he could be. I'm an escort. It's better you carry your bag now. By the way, why are you worrying over an old man like this? It's a blood chap. Just fetch up a gate. Nigga, full more malaise. Ebe has not an APCC. Go and eat money. Oh, yeah. Hey. You're up even in Josie. You're even around. I'm giving you your freedom. In the name of we Go. Just smile and go. Come on. Just leave like you never came. Cheer up now. You shouldn't be doing this. Hey, hey, just let me talk. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. You, you could have waited for me. And make sure the gate. Come walk it, Kabacha. Me the gate of Fuma. Eh. Yes. Good girl. Pshum. She's gone. So, this phase is closed. That's point. You know what to do. on the wall and died instantly. She pleaded with me to conceal the situation, but I left her, rushed to you people to report to you. Arrest her, she killed her father. Arrest her. No wonder she wants to shout out her intestine, because you know what she here and his colleague were the people that brought you over to the hospital when you were bleeding and unconscious. I asked them to step aside so that I can be able to attend to your wounds. 
He wants to talk to you. Officer, Miss Nancy, you have to be honest with me for me to help you. I need you to tell me how and where you got these drugs. Drugs? Well, we found it inside your bag. Officer, I, I, I did not take any drug. I, 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 didn't, I didn't take any of those. Nancy, the drug in his hand is a very powerful pill for abortion. We conducted a test on you and we found traces of it in your blood sample. Abortion drug? In my blood sample? Miss Nancy, you are under arrest. Uh, officer, uh, under arrest for what? Autopsy confirmed that your father was already dead before he was hung on a rope to make it look like suicide. Well, we were in your house to arrest you, but you fainted. So you are under arrest for murder and illegal abortion too. Officer, it can't happen. Miss Nancy, you have the right to remain silent for whatever you say or do now will be used against you in the court of Me, I should understand you. By the way, how much did she take from your cupboard that made you beat her in this manner? A woman that is carrying your baby. I'm sorry, mother. You are sorry? Just that? Eh? You are sorry? Nancy! Oh, sorry, I forgot the pains. You know what? I am taking you to the police station to lay a formal complaint against this fool. Come on, let's go. Auntie. The police? Yes. Auntie, Auntie, I have forgiven him already. You have what? Yes. Why? However you look at it, we are now family. Besides, I have his child. I'm carrying his child in my womb. That's and I've agreed to marry him. So there will be no need for that. Yes, yes, mother. If I try it again, Tom Borombrok, send me back to jail. I'm gonna send it again to DSS underground. My friend, go get water for her to drink uh, pain relief uh, medication that I bought. Go! So that she will take this pain relief uh, medication. I don't know what is wrong with this man. Eh? My dear, I am so sorry. Oh, it will not happen again. Not while I'm still breathing. Any time, any day he tries that again, eh? What I will do to him? What I will do to him? Then I'm mommy, what I get is no picture. Because I'm going to be an email with an angel. Open your heart, own them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just take them all, huh? Bunya Miri. Mary, collect the water from her. Don't you know how to treat a woman? 
I will make it up to her within twelve o'clock. I will make it up to her within twelve o'clock. I will make it up to her within twelve o'clock. I will make it up to her within twelve o'clock. My dear, I'm so sorry. Eh? You see, this medication will help relieve pains. Eh? Don't worry. It will not happen again. Nah. Permit me to use this opportunity to apologize properly to you for what my brother and I did to you and your family. I am so sorry. It will not happen again. Believe me when I say that. Eh? I want to use this opportunity too and promise you that I will use every connection I have to make sure that your brother is withdrawn from this dead role in Malaysia. Hey, Auntie Mabel. Hey, Auntie Mabel, you mean it? Every word of it. Believe me. I mean, I can't sit and do nothing while they kill him. He's my in-law now, you know. So I must use every connection I have to make sure he's safe. And I will go to the hospital and see the man you took there and deposited the money to be treated. I will also apologize to Dr. John for what this buffoon did earlier in the hospital today. So let's go to the hospital and see the man you saved and the doctor as well. Eh? Whichever bill that is outstanding, I will foot it. Yes. And Afunwa, don't do this again. I will give you the money she took from your brick face. Any amount. Don't. I repeat, do not lay your hands on any woman again. Because if you ever touch Nancy in this life and life to come, you know me now. You know me. Personally, send you to DSS on that ground. Let us go to the, the, the hospital and see the man. Oh. How is it, officer? Deceived me into taking the drugs without telling me it was abortion pills. They killed my baby, even after killing my father, and now they are setting me up. Nancy, are you telling me the fact on how you got and took the abortion drug? I swear with my life. It was them. It was Afu and his sister. I'm telling you nothing but the truth. And your father? How can you be so sure that it was them that killed him? Since according to you, you didn't see them doing it. Ah, uh, officer. You told me that my father was already dead before he was hung by his killer to make it look like suicide. Do you look at me, officer? Do I look like someone who, who can lift my father up and do that to his corpse? How? I am only but a woman. How is, how is it possible? It was awful man, his sister, officer. I am not lying to you. I am telling you nothing but the truth. It was them. Officer. Sir. I want awful and his sister arrested and brought here immediately. Arrest right, sir. This case requires thorough investigation. And I'm going to take charge of it myself. All right. I go. Thank you, 
Mr. DPO. I know that you'll be wondering what is going on. In there is 2.5 million Naira. A gift from me to you. Thank you so much, madam. But I am an apostle of a uh, nothing goes for nothing philosophy. So, what am I? I know where you're going. <laughs> you see? I think one is my only brother. And his fiance was arrested today by your man for murder and illegal abortion. I want you to... When I'm mother, come out here! When I'm mother, come out here! Who is that nonsense person? What is going on here? Why is my brother in handcuffs? He has been arrested for murder. Really? Shosa! Shosa! Inspector, get this horse off from his hands now and go back to the station. Immediately! But sir, Inspector Mark sent us to arrest him and Madame Marvel for my rank is superior to that of Inspector Mark. And as the DPO of this division, I have tactical command of every operation in this division. Or oh, have you forgotten? No, sir. Obey before complaint is the first rule in police force. So, Inspector, get these cuffs off of his hands now. Okay, sir. One more thing, when you get back to the station, tell Inspector Mark that Miss Nancy's case from now onwards should be handled in such a way that the names of uh, Mr. Afungwa and Madame Mabel should not be mentioned in it ever again. Tell him that the other is from above. Them. Officer. Miss Nancy. Yes, sir. I am the DPO of this police division. Confirm to me that this is the statement that you wrote when you were brought in here earlier today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I wrote it. Good. I want you to write a new one. In it. Nothing, I repeat, nothing must connect Mr. Afunwa and Madame Mabel to the case that brought you here. Understood? Uh, what is going on here? Inspector Mark ordered him to go and arrest Afunwa and his sister Mabel. Will you shut up? Shut up and speak to me with some respect. 
I am the most senior officer in this division. And if I must remind you, you must do exactly as I said. Over my dead body. You want to torture me and force me to do your will, right? Of course, I cannot stop you from doing that. But I'm telling you right now that you are wasting your time. You will not prevail against my will. You are only but a police officer, not God. Inspector. Sir. In every two minutes, does she refuse to do what I ask her to do? Use this hot iron to draw a big tattoo on her back. And after that, she is still proving stubborn. Use the hot iron to design her face. And if she dies in the process, you take her corpse to the forest and bury it. Okay, sir. Shut up. Inspector Mark, sir. Inspector Mark. Shut up! This officer. Inspector Mark, what did you do? Where? Ah! Will you do that? Are you, that? Are you out of your senses? What is wrong with you? Ah! How can you torture somebody you don't know if she's guilty or not? Huh? Sir, we are acting on the orders of the DPO. You heard me a while ago when I told the DPO that what he said concerning this case will not happen. Didn't you hear that? Now get out of this place. With due respect, sir, the DPO is the superior officer in this division. Really? If you use that hot iron on her again, I will default you. <laughs> sir, why are you wasting your time on this poor short girl? <laughs> now you listen to me. As police officers, we are officers of the law. Priests, in the temple of justice. The police are not and should not be the protectors of the rich and their interests at the expense of the poor. You should know that. Go and tell the DPO that I said I will do everything in my honor as an officer of the Nigeria Police Force to give justice to this poor and wretched girl. No matter what it costs me. Did you get that? Alright, sir. Now get out of my sight! Do this! Hey, take it easy. This is a special mark. If you please, shut up. Please, shut up. Shut up. Okay. 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 Mr. DPO? Yes. How did it go? Oh, it was so perfect. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. 
Please come to my house. Yes, right away. Okay, I'll be waiting. Mm-hmm. Have they done it? The idiot is dead. Hey! Thank God. Thank God. Hey! On your choice, man and Kapia. Thank God. But come can we trust police officers not to betray us in a matter like this letter? Asuma, the question should be, can they trust me? Uh, uh, how, how do you mean? Osakosa, Liogo Magana, Ochuano. I'll be in my room. Call me. When the DPU arrives. Madam Mabel, where is the money that uh, you asked me to come and take? As you can see, it's past midnight. I have to be leaving immediately. Oh, the money is on the way. Just exercise some little patience and watch this little video with me. You want me to watch a video with you at this time of the night? Just a few minutes. Hmm? And you will be glad of to watch it. Just watch to the end. Okay? And here we are. Pum, pum, pa, pum, pum. Mm -hmm. Watch. Recorded all this. Well, what do you say? What can you do? What do you have to say? Nothing about <laughs> Well, Be reaching your superiors and as well go viral on the internet. Should at any time you fail to handle Nancy's case the way I want it. Honestly, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. Mr. DPO, leave my house. Good night. Leave my house! Hey! Mr. 
the DPO. This. This is your tape. And that is mine. And another tape is with someone else. Who will do as I instructed. Should any harm come to me or my brother Afuma. So get out. Dangerous game you just played. Hey, this man is a senior police officer for crying out loud. Well, louder for one. Leave my house. Go and sleep. I want to lock my door and retire for the night. But I don't know. What if you leave my house? And no sign of hope. Hey, oh, kid, you said you God of the poor. Where are you? God of the poor. God of the poor. And who says God is not on the throne? Look who I have here. Hmm, Mabel, you think you will never be arrested? Or you think the impunity will never end? Or you think no one will speak up for me forever? Hmm? Welcome to your new home. I hope you make a good cellmate. I never knew you as a talkative, Nancy. Listen to me, woman. In her, I am your senior. The law of seniority rules in this place. In her, like I said earlier, I am your senior and you will abide by my rules. And I hope Afuma was arrested as well. Miss Nancy, sit down. I said, sit down! It's an order. Professional statement stating that you acted alone without any form of deceit or force to the crime that brought you here. I guess it is high time I told you what Inspector Mark said before he left for the police headquarters. He is already discussing my case with the Commissioner of Police. Mm -hmm. So tell me. Do you want to ruin your career because of this murderer? <laughs> oh, Nancy. Little Nancy. That man did not travel to the headquarters to discuss cases with the commission of police. 
the lie in mortuary. You cannot. Meaning what? Meaning that your so-called Inspector Mark, your advocate, joined his ancestors yesterday night. Hmm. You let her kill your colleague. Oh. You, you. Sign this now, or I will kill you. Sign it. Never. I would rather die than sign this. I would rather die. Inspector Gentlemen, okay. hold her down. No, 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 to drink. She'll be all right in an hour or two. Sign it. She is too small to stand me. Didn't I tell you that before leaving here earlier? She signed it. But willingly. Silly question. Do you want to say something? Yes. Uh, uh, there's an angle to this situation which you have been taken for granted all along. Which is? Uh, the injured man in the hospital. Mm. What about him? Uh, you see, the uh, Nancy and her family mm. are poor. So all the mindless, unjust games we have been playing with them have been going our way quite easily. But the injured man, you know nothing about him at all. So, what if it turns out that he is rich and connected? What do you think uh, he will do for Nancy? When he regains consciousness and getting to know all that Nancy and her father did for him through Dr. John or any other person in that hospital. And what do you think he will do to you and I <laughs> upon getting to know all we have done for Nancy and her father? 
thinking that he might be our nemesis in the making. Oh, enough. Afuma, stop already. The distance between him and the grave will just be one let or injection if I get the slightest suspicion that he is working against us. Relax, Afuma. You worry too much. What Nancy signed today, with what he is going through, no, they will not dare. Because whatever we have with her will soon come to the end. For me, start looking for someone else to marry. Because the case is almost over. Do you get? Yes. Uh, but what are you planning to do next? Another silly question. Do you expect me to tell you? You know I don't tell anyone my details. Not even you, my own brother. So don't ask. Excuse me. Hello. Dr. John? Yes? When? Alright. We will be there right away. We're going to the hospital. Here are the people that brought you and paid for your hospital bill. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So how do you feel? I feel very tired and hungry. Okay, I have sent a nurse to get you something to eat. Thank you, Madam Pot. Food is not what I need now. Please, I need you and your husband to do me a favor. Uh, we are not husband and wife. She's my sister. Whoa. Oh. I'm sorry about that. Please. I need you to help me find my family and take me back to them. Please. Please. I... I don't understand, Dr. John. What is he talking about? Yeah, that's a problem, Madam Mabel. He regained consciousness with total amnesia. Amnesia? What does it mean, amnesia? That means he can't remember anything, not even his name or anything. Doctor, Doctor, please can you do me a favor? I need a few moments with him alone. Okay, no problem. Alright. Take care of yourself. Stop this. I know you're playing pranks with the doctor to avoid troubles. Be curious of the gunshot wound you came in here with. See, trust us, right? We are not going to hand you over to the police. You can talk to us. In fact, the police do not know that you are here. They don't have any story of you. So, tell me, who are you? I'm not playing pride. I can't remember anything. Please, if you can't help me, take me to the police. The doctor said they can help me if you. Uh, my best. I'm not going to go. The 
this is a big fuck off. Asuma, will you shut your mouth up? I'm telling you. Please shut up. Young man, you see, we'll be, we'll be back shortly, okay? Let's see what we can do to at least get you stable force, okay? Understand. You said you and your father brought me to the hospital. But the doctor brought some people here and. Uh, Auntie Mabel and uh, Afonga. They equally played a huge role in saving your life. How? I mean, why did they come before you and without you? It is complicated. You said you can't remember everything. I have. I have a hazy recollection of waking up in the forest where I was shot by someone I didn't see his face. I, I can also remember begging a couple at the roadside for help, but I can't remember their faces. And anything before that, I also cannot remember. The man who came here with his sister and I are the couple you ran into begging for help. You? And... And my father was the one who shot you in the forest. Mistakenly. Your father? It was my father and I that brought you here. It's Nancy. Your time is up. Come to me now. Wait, police? You brought the police to help me find my family? <laughs> please, move it. Move it, please. You've not forgotten all the instructions I gave you. Take your medications accordingly. Sleep well. You'll be okay. All right? Doctor, Sorry. you've not been able to answer any of our questions. Okay. I'm asking, how long will it take him to, you know, come up very well? Recover his memory in full? For how long would it be? Further test needs to be carried out on him before I can answer that question, ma'am. Really? Yes. Okay. Don't worry. With or without his memory mark, my brother and I are going to do everything possible to link him up with his family. So you don't need to worry about that. 
Um, in fact, in two or three weeks, I'm sure of that. The police is also working on that, on my instruction. So before nightfall, the police will come and take photographs of you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Photographs? Yes. They said it's the only way to speed up the search for your family. So not to worry. Hmm? Very soon you will go back home. Uh, doctor, yes, thank you very much. I will take it off from here. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, my dear, may we? Hmm? Yes, after you. Let's go home. Let me take you inside. What is this? Oh, that? Okay, I'm into fine arts. Yes. So the police contracted me to design some sign post for them. Uh, this is just a sample. I kept it here to dry. Oh. Yes, he is telling the truth. Hey, Afuma, you need to, you know, take him inside to rest while we rush to the pharmacist down the street to get uh, the medication recommended from the doctor. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. Uh, my dear, please bear with me. Eh? I need to be home on time because of my husband. I'll, I'll, I'll be coming to see you from time to time. Yes. So, my dear, let's, let's see. Well, when did you say Miss Nancy is coming to see me? Oh, any moment from now. What about her, her father? What happened? Is he in trouble? Not at all. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, both of them will be coming to see you together. Uh, yes, I had a little misunderstanding with Nancy two days ago, but it's been sorted out. But you know women are shakara. That's why she's not here. Uh, but her father will be bringing her later. Yeah, he's right. Uh, thank you very much, madam. Oh. Thank you for your kindness. Not thank to you, mention. Sir. Thank you. <laughs> don't mention, don't mention. Let's go, let's uh, go. Please. Uh, Asuma, yeah. you know what? Um, take me in and meet me at the pharmacist. Okay. Mm? Asuma, be quick. It's
For police, I, I, I did for my family. Arrest him. Move, Arrest move. me. Why? Move it. Arrest him. He will explain himself. My family. Move it. Move. Bend down. Move. Go, 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 go. Move, move. Come on, move it. Kill me now. Move. I'm Robert. It will do you a lot of good if you stop this your idea of playing smart with me and tell me the truth. Miss Nancy, why did you kill your father and aborted your pregnancy? Why? This is unprofessional. Very unprofessional, officer. You are abusing an innocent lady and it is unacceptable. Very... Tell the police. Tell the police. So it is true that after hiding this bastard in my house for weeks, having sex with him every day, beating him into pop, killing your father, aborting your pregnancy so that it will not be revealed that he was responsible. You still talked him into trespassing a crime scene to help you tamper with evidence when you visited him in the hospital today. Will you shut up? Shut up! You have put yourself in grave danger because of this prostitute. Both of you committed bedroom corruption in my house and EFCC has been notified. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you, Afunwa? Please do not reduce this to one of your silly jokes. And for God's sakes, I am not a prostitute. Stop calling me one. Summarize what you have to say in a single term. No, 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 you. Explain it yourself. Explain it. You have been exposed. And there's no denying it. Corrupt woman with corrupt bottom. Denying what? Denying your EFCC and police uh, crimes you committed with this idiot. They are punishable by EFCs. What in God's name is happening here? What in God's name is going on here? Sir, we arrested this man here in the late Honor House compound. He and Nancy here are partners in crime. Detain them and bring Mr. Afonwa to my office. Okay, sir. 